Ladies and gentlemen, meet Steve Austin by Anik Rescue Dog. Jamie! Jamie Summers by Anik Rescue Dog. Who's here? Steve Austin is here from Texas. It's just weird. Which is weird, right? That Austin's... Stevie! Hi, Stevie. Stevie. Hi, Stevie. That's my... You were hoping that I would leave his name uh, Coda. Yes. Because of the ferret sketch we did. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Okay. This yesterday, oh, do we do we have that? One of the happy. I understand when people that have had children know the happiest day of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was okay. Um, Texas, you suck. You suck at dogs. This is why Great Great Pyrenees Rescue Society of America is based in Texas because they don't they think of them as working dogs and they don't spay or neuter and they abandon them if they're not good flock guardians. And so this is the baby. This is mommy's. New baby. Travis, you're looking at me skeptically. I'm just worried about your sanity. <laughs> no, you know the thing? I know why my parents, my sisters are like 20 years older than my brother and I. Mm -hmm. I'm much more relaxed as an older parent now that I'm 39. Yeah. Even though, can I just say, he was described as, I, we don't, I, they thought he was four months old. I think more like two and a half, maybe three months old. And uh, they described him as halfway house trained. I would describe him as not at all house trained in any way. Well, good luck so, here. I, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. But that's why God made puppies this cute. Does anyone does. get a, a screenshot of this? I hope he doesn't pee on the equipment. Yeah, well, did I'm sorry, Chris. Did you ask, did he pee in the bed? Because they're like, they don't ever pee where they sleep. Chicken but, Trump? Where'd you get chicken Trump? Oh, my God, it's Trump with chicken feet. Yeah, and hair, chicken what? hair. Well, his hair's already like chicken hair. What the hell <sighs> kind of hellscape put that together? I don't know. It's a human animal it. hybrid. Steve Austin likes it. It's a human, yes. It's a human animal hybrid. You're right. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. I. Uh, oh my god. Where's in the arms of the angels? It's really okay. What? That's one of my thousand tweets today, right, Travis? Hmm? Everybody giving their dogs back up to rescue. <laughs> oh, I want to save all of them. But uh, yeah, this was like I picked um, the driver. I have to thank uh, uh, JD. Drove him all the way here from Texas. So they. There's a great need in Texas, so they take there. This is an amazing um, organization. Can I just say I love everybody that works in rescue? But uh, uh, people love this breed, Great Pyrenees. It's uh, amazing. The, my screener for uh, Great Pyrenees Rescue Society, um, Rebecca up in Seattle. She's like a civil rights attorney. Oh, are you concerned about that? About Steve Austin the we still on? underneath the. That tail is as long Isn't as his this body. Great shot just in time for all our technical problems being over. Steve Austin's here. Okay. I always have something new to blame him on. Right. Jamie is a super patient dog. Jamie loves him, but it's a little... Last night when we got in bed, because Jamie sleeps with her head on my chest to start, mm -hmm. so that was the only growl of the day. It was like, oh, no, mother... No, this oh. is... No, no, no. So then he just laid down. No, Steve Austin. So he just laid down oh. where he was next to... Right. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I didn't know there was that much pee in the whole world. He just, Who knew there was so much pee? He just barked out there. Did you hear that? <laughs> I did not. He yes. barked at me when I changed into a robe last night because I, I look like an entirely different human. Well, yeah, he's only known you. He's for like, a few who's hours. the big white human puppy tampon? Who's the white... surfboard? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, and uh, was oh Cindy I have to thank Cindy and uh, and her a lovely Asian lady and her family uh, had Coda's whole litter because the whole litter got and the mother they don't spay and neuter in Texas so the whole litter got turned into a shelter in uh, Dallas but she was um, fostered his whole litter. In uh, Houston, and there's I, I talked to another foster mom in uh, what do you call it, uh, Austin. Can I just say this? Give me this did give me hope because as much as there's bastard people in Texas looking at you, Greg Abbott, mm -hmm. no animal rights, no voting rights. Mm -hmm. I'm, they're just great people. Like it, all these uh, foster, they have foster parents all over the country that they go and foster these dogs and then find them a forever home. And uh, so there's good people in Texas too. Uh, and they, oh, um. Casey, which I know was your dog's name. That was my name. dog's name, yeah. Yes. He was like a five-month-old. And mm -hmm. I'm like bonded with this lady that had Casey. Oh, and she's she wanted to keep him, but we found him a great home in uh, Portland. Oh, then someone at the last minute had an 18-month-old here who came over for a play date. This poor lady has autoimmune disorder and can't take care of him anymore. Anyway, 
they came. We did a play date. I was going to help her find a home, and she has decided to to get us. Uh, to keep him. Anyway, uh, listen to my love stories, for God's sake. He's, there trying, are to chew my he's chewing through cords, so I was asking if he's done teething yet. Probably not. <laughs> and they're sharp, too, when you're They're a little dicey on what the date of birth is. Oh, we thought boy. it was in March, like he's four months, but then I saw a thing that said April 29th, so that means he could be like two and a half. I don't, maybe three months? I don't know. We're just trying to keep the show on the air. <laughs> oh, you people, like, this is really a quote-unquote job. <laughs> well, we hear about it if... We don't do our okay. quote unquote job. All right, so I've been a little, I'm going to need to quit my job. Has there been anything happening in the news? I haven't been able to pay attention. Yeah. Oh my God. He's the smart, the hardest, smartest dog in the world. And you're, he learned the dog door in one day, just yesterday. Apparently, though, he uses it, the biggest motivator is being separated from mommy. So he mostly uses it to get back in to see mommy and then to pee inside. He so, kind of, I've had him outside a lot, mm -hmm. right? Potty outside. Mm -hmm so far we just we're just a little reverse it'll take a second he knows how to use the dog door but it's mostly the okay so we're we're in a, it's only the first day yesterday we're good mommy's gonna need a little more a little more doggy xanax something okay. All right. cbd yes <laughs> sorry sean you're you're out of luck with your cbd i meant for the dog not you okay. <laughs> yeah sure. he's fine okay. okay look at him oh steve austin there he's going party. over near the broadcast equipment there's such a bunch of dog haters in here. Well, I, except for Sean. I, I want a dog. I can't have a dog. I have a, a cat now. Okay. A cat. All right. So what? What up? Did anything else happen over the weekend? Well, there was CPAC. You ruined all my great stories. You weren't even paying attention. Oh, all true. these big-hearted rescue people. So there's crappy people that give dogs up mm -hmm. and don't spay and neuter dogs. I am adding that. I'm telling you right now. I'm adding to our vaccine darting people that are unvaccinated. We are also spay and neutering them. I get that that part's a little morally on the edge. The vaccine darting, I think, is a, a mission of mercy. Adding the spaying and neutering, you know, it's a little dicey morally, but for the greater good. Remember our caller about the greater good, mm -hmm. Chris? Yeah. All right, could someone pay attention to me? Why am I talking all by myself and everybody's... All right, Steve yeah. Austin's going to be fine. We have a new member of the family. 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 Yes, uh, family. family. Speaking of which, Rude yes, Pundit. Family. Yes, Rude Pundit and uh, uh, Eric Bowler coming up. I love you, Kodo. <laughs> His name is not Kodo anymore. Stop it. I love you, Kodo. I love you, Kodo. <laughs> Let me hold your paw. <laughs> okay, that was from Dead Ferret Walking. Yes. And it was Kodo, not Coda. His name was, it's Steve Austin now. Okay. All right, so um, <laughs> what? Why is there, was there another, was there a second CPAC? Do we need that? No, we didn't. Do we have one cure for childhood cancer? No, but we have a billionaire in space and a second CPAC. Why? I was, see, I was paying attention. I can mother and pay attention at the same time. Okay. Chris, who, can, I, I will force you to pay attention. Oh. Who said if our party decides COVID denialism or January 6th was BLM and Antifa, but yet we don't want to investigate it because none of that makes sense. If we want to be that as a party, that's a choice the party can make. You will never be a national party again. Who said that? Uh, the Groovy Ghoulies. No. Horribly bad guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Representative Adam Kinzinger, oh. one of the only sane Republicans left in the great state of Illinois. Okay. I, I don't know what to say about this. Oh. Oh, yes, that is uh, Steve Austin's main form of playing right now is uh, uh, humping Jamie, the endlessly patient Jamie, the bionic rescue Has dog. he been fixed? Yes. Okay. It has not, it, I don't think it didn't take yet. Yeah, did it take? Because it was just say, last it week. It was just last week, so. Oh, oh he, there we go. Yeah, no, go. that's that's basically, that's his playing. My, my dog used to do that, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's like me. His dating life is like me, okay. humping air, we got, mostly. We got a little porn going on on yeah. Free Speech TV. and. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, there you go. Right. No extra charge for that. There we go. Wild Kingdom in here. Yeah. You missed my joke. Uh, no, we heard it. What did I say? What did I say? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what? I'm the oh, new oh, mother. Going, Why are you uh, distracted? Uh, 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 he's okay. chewing on a cord now right. again. Okay. Hey. All right. We'll put Steve Austin somewhere. Just can you, we get through this first segment without the dog hating? I said his love life is just like mine humping air. I thought that was a really good joke. No one pays attention to me in here. We're, we're going to lose power. <laughs> All right, hang on. You talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no Baker, Steve Rudy Austin, Baker. no Steve oh, Austin, he's, no. He's fine. I can, I'm a new mother. He can do no wrong. Until all the lights go out. I'm like, look how much pee you made in the bed. You proved everybody wrong that you don't soil your sleeping area. Mm. 
I, who you who learns a dog door in the first day? Andy learned stairs in the first day. Yesterday he didn't do stairs. This you, morning. You don't need to potty train cats. They just go in the box. Yeah, well, I don't want a box in my house. That is, you know, in the house. That's like a Republican. You have pee your in your cats bed. Are like, cats you are like pee in your cats bed. Cats are like Republicans. They just right in the house. You have three house gigantic pools of pee in house your bed. Represent. You don't know. You didn't go up and count. You go up and count before you... just you... said three... Well, you go up and count before you... You <laughs> confirm your facts before you willy-nilly spread misinformation, Mr. Fox News. Okay, fake news. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, uh, poor Sean. Sean, oh. Sean is tired of the uh, fighting. All right. Sorry. Not in front of the baby. I don't, by that, I mean Sean and Steve Austin and also Shane. Okay. Oh, Andrew thought the same thing. I It's so cool billionaires are going to space. Can we fully fund a childhood cancer research now? Just, I I mean, uh, that's, I, okay. I guess, yay. Was that, I guess it was supposed to be exciting yesterday. He's like, I'm an astronaut now. I'm like, well, I could be for a billion dollars too. Hmm. Right? You can make it available to everyone. I could be queen of England and a ballerina and an astronaut by now if I had a bill, right? Sure. I'm make just, it easier. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Oh, what? At least that won't take us off the air. All right. You know what? I'm just. You know what? I'm going to break because of you people, not because of Steve Austin. <laughs> okay. Listen. Any new mother out there understands what I mean. Okay. Look, I have I have important things to talk about. Look at that. I did that even with giving birth yesterday. That's some chicken scratch about COVID idiots. Look. Oh, it bled through because that was my list of things I need to buy for Steve Austin. Did you write <sighs> yeah. that in lipstick? No, that was red magic marker, the shopping list. Uh, I need a, a harness, and a, it's not important now. Listen, the point is, I had important things to say about covid that I wrote down. All right, we'll be <laughs> all of that. Professor Rude Pundit has a great piece about uh, yes. critical race theory, and uh, much more as we roll along, presumably. Well. Is it weird when we get rid of one kind of critter? You know. Moby's radioactive hell pigs eating our spectrum cables. Oh. And then I'm like, wait, I have a new challenge. Sean's pig. job is too easy now. The hell pigs might still be there. Oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> have we mentioned that if uh, Spectrum wanted to really be a fine American company, they would uh, upgrade in this neighborhood? That maybe they've oversold this neighborhood? Have we mentioned that? Mm -hmm. But they still charge you the full amount. Yes, and in uh, hour number three, when uh, you know people have the audacity to start using the internet, it doesn't work anymore! Well... I'm just saying, a radio show that has, you know, six million listeners. I'm just saying Spectrum may want to address that toot sweet because... Because you just said it to right. our six million listeners. Yes, because it's not free speech TV's fault. It's not our fault. Right. It is a neighborhood problem. It is a... Uh, right. Spectrum. Right. Usage problem. Yes. Speculum. Put your legs up in the stirrups. It's all going to be fine. Welcome to Speculum. It's all fine now. It's all good. Remember they, they ran those commercials? Yeah. They uh, need to dig more holes. We're not Time Warner anymore. It's all going to be better now. They need to dig more holes? Yes. <gasps> Guess who can help? Steve Austin! Who's a diggy dog? He's trying to go through the carpet right now and he's tangled in the cords. The right. cords that keep us on the air. I will take care of the mothering. I have, I have so much sympathy right now from working mothers. You have no idea, you bastard people. He's 20, a latchkey puppy. Yeah. 20 minutes he's after He's going to be raised end. by Brett Summers. No, he is not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we even need to do a commercial for the step store? I mean, the shirts are flying off the right. Look at this. Look at it. Hey, look at that. Get your face up. <laughs> look, look. We have, and we have them for Team Pfizer, Team J and J. We are all Team Vaccine here. We have amazing. That's right. And you can get it on everything, right, Chris? Not just shirts. Bath mats, shower curtains. You can get it on art. A clock. You can get Duvet. a sexy bomb on a clock. We have Stephanie Miller swag. We have sexy liberal swag. And, of course, all the the vaccine shirts. Get it now. StephanieMiller.com. Wee!